this experiment, you're gonna need a balloon and a pin. And even more pins. Let's get started. First of all, you take the balloon and you fill it with air. So you have a balloon. Now, what will happen when you touch the pin to the balloon? Let's find out. That's what happens. So what do you think will happen when you put a balloon on a lot of pins? As you can see, the balloon also exploded, but this time you needed a little bit more force than the last time. That is because the pressure was distributed along more pins. <laughs> what is that? You wanna unsubscribe? <laughs> and for this experiment, we're gonna need fire, water, and cans. I mean cans! Cans! First of all, you need to fill can with water. You can boil it before to make everything go faster. After one quarter of can is filled, you need to heat it up. After some time, you need to flip can in cold water. After some time, you need to flip can in cold water. So you wonder what the f just happened? No. What? No. Why? I don't care. I'm trying to say that. Sudden change of temperatures and pressure in the can make it collapse. So for this experiment, you're gonna need a candle, half a glass of water, and a plate. First of all, you drink the water. Then you take some more water and pour it into the plate. Then you take a candle, light it up and put it in the middle. Then all you need to do is take the glass and put it on top of the candle. So the candle heats up all the air in the glass which then expands. When the candle is extinguished, the air subtracts and sucks up all the water from the plate into the glass. One of the easiest way to make some noise is just by mixing aluminum foil and pipe cleaner. So first of all you need to find bottle. Oh. After you have a bottle you need to make six balls of aluminum foil. and put them inside of bottle and then you add pipe cleaner close it and throw it as far as possible
cleanup reacts with aluminum foil, which makes gases and heat, which destroys the bottle. It's important to be safe when you're handling dangerous chemicals, so don't try this at home. So today you're gonna need two glasses of water, a glass of water without water, and a piece of string. Now if you want, you can add coloring to the water to make it look better. And here we go. It will work better if you raise the glasses with water. Since we have two glasses of water, we're gonna need two pieces of string. So you can cut this longer one into two smaller pieces. It will work best if we soak up the strings in water. Now all we need to do is to connect the glasses with the strings. What you just saw is called capillary action. Water traveled from one glass to another using the string, also carrying some color with it. So we are gonna need dish soap, food coloring and milk. We pour the milk into the plate. Then you take as many colors as you can. Then you put some colors in the milk. So even now it looks cool, but real magic happens when you add some dish soap. The soap reduces the surface tension of the milk by dissolving fat molecules. This is why fatter milk works better. For this, you're gonna need an empty canister, some acetone, and a lot of polystyrene. First of all, Put some acetone into the container. Side note, when performing this experiment, make sure you are in a well-ventilated area. So you're asking, how is this possible? Acetone partially dissolves styrofoam, which releases trapped air and causes the structure to disintegrate. So we're gonna need food coloring, empty bottle, bubble pills, glass of water, and olive oil. First of all, add some colors to the water. After that, you need to pour colored water 
into the bottle. After that, you fill bottle with olive oil. It already looks awesome, but let's add some magic. Bill reacts with water and makes some bubbles, which travel up and look so awesome. So today I'm gonna show you how to make a simple DC motor. You're gonna need two safety pins, some batteries, copper wire, a magnet, some tape and scissors. First of all, take a wire, find something round and wind it up around five times. Now fasten the loop by doing this and the other side. Cut the wire. Now you can take the scissors and clean the outer layer. Now take the pins and tape them to the battery. Now connect the wires to the pins. Finally put the magnet in the middle and close the circuit using the copper wires. And give it a little spin. So electricity creates a magnetic field which spins the coil. So today I'm gonna teach you how to build a rocket. Not actually a real rocket, but a match rocket. It's quite simple. You only need matches and aluminum foil. First of all, to make a rocket you need fuel and our fuel will be match heads. After you have enough fuel, you can start making your rocket. You can choose any size, everything depends on how much fuel you have. Fail. So, thanks for watching. In future, we will try to do a lot of more interesting videos. So, you can hit the subscribe button. So, okay. <laughs> Bye.